ladies. Hello and welcome to Beck's Bug Out Survivor. And you join me today well, while I fit my new silent cap onto the Surveyor 123 R stove. There's also a modification to the Surveyor stove as well which is going to help prime it. I found a beautiful location. All this is being filmed here in North Wales. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny Sunday morning. Stay tuned because we're going to find out just how quiet a quiet stove cap really is. Time for some modifications. Um, I watched something on YouTube where Colorado Camper had put a stove rope around the housing uh, on top of the tank to prime it and that seemed to work a lot better so I've done that. The only trouble is it's um, I'm using Coleman's fuel which is white gas and it's a very very sussy way of making your uh, stove very black very quickly so I'm going to prime with methylated spirits but run the tank on the Coleman's I've also have a new top for it it's a quiet stove and it's turned the roaring jet engine of uh, a stove into something quite quiet so we're going to have a sound check of with and without for the stove cap. Let me undo the housing here for the windshield. And on there you should see that little bit of rope. I'll point that out to you on there. Is what I wet up to prime the stove with. And like I said it's made everything sooty because trying to prime with the same fuel you put in here um, it's not burning all the carbon off so all that needs a wash I'm going to replace this rope here and we've already replaced the quiet stove cap there but uh, I think first we'll have a listen of the side by side so it's with and without. So this is the bit that's been replaced. This would have sat on top of the stove. Where's he gone? There you are. Like that. This is called a flame spreader and I've swapped it out for a quiet stove cap. Now I know what you're wondering, why would I want to do that? Because I do like a bit of stealth camping, um, which means things have to be pretty quiet. This is my favourite stove. Um, it does hold a reserve of fuel. It lasts well. The amount of fuel I can get away with and I'm going to prime mine up this time with methylated spirits. Okay I've removed the quiet stove cap and I've also dug out the existing uh, flame spreader they call that but of course all this is very sussy so I'm going to clean this with water and soap and remove th this rope here it'll get replaced with new rope um, let's just see if we can take this off on camera 
I've got some garden wire with me just to uh, put this back on with but I've got new new rope and I've got new wire now lighting this stove rope rather than just putting it in the well here um, does make for an easier time of lighting this because unless it's primed up properly uh, it does tend to splutter if it's not hot enough so it's a splutter free quiet stove so what I've done is to make what we used to call the Rora or the jet engine so we made this into a quiet little stove for stealth camp because it's okay having your camouflage up and everything but if anyone hears that it's game up okay water some soap and a little pad I'm going to clean all this up I expect a lot of soot to come off this now naphthalene which is the Coleman's fuel um, it's so high octane burning that uh, it doesn't have chance to burn off some of the carbon deposits and that's what makes the soot let's just take the bell housing off it's going to be easier for me to clean that's the needle I want to get home I'll get the uh, polish out on the actual machine itself probably do a lot of this now but I've got some polish that will bring it up like new lot of soot it soon cleans up though this is something that I could be doing at home really but it's Sunday now it's a nice day and I love this bit of the world uh, I've taken Captain Montgomery out and thanks for everyone asking how the uh, old tin tent is Montgomery is my camper van uh, he's under a refit at the moment and a respray or a repainting anyway let's water this off he's doing rather well I have a tea towel as well that's just to clear up some of this I'll need a new tea towel So some garden wire, a length of stove rope, I believe this is 8 mil. something to cut it with, great, blunt knife, that needs sharpening. So let's just have a look at how I can do this, it doesn't take a lot, a little wrap around like that. I'll cut it off about where my thumb is and get a length of wire I'll do that now so here's the wire I may just cut this stove rope after I've done this so I hope this is going to work like this it was fiddly last time holding them together I just twist and twist this garden wire 
so it tightens. I just keep twisting the garden wire till it tightens this rope on. I'm going to get it quite neat and further back than that. And I think there's some kind of copper in it because when this burns, it burns with a greeny blue pattern. And don't forget, I'll need to uh, remove the coating, the plastic coating off the wire. Okay, I'm going to snip this down. See how sharp this blunt knife is. Sharper than I thought. And see if I can tidy up. I wonder if I've got some snips to snip that. So I just found my little multi tool snips. And cut off this excess of wire. It's easier doing this indoors at home. Okay, I'm going to fit this quiet cap. You'll see there's an arrow. That arrow needs to line up, get in focus, there you are, with this bit here, the valve key. So the arrow will sit on that. Let's take this off. Hard doing this looking through the lens. I just need to ease these off here. That's one off. Ease that back. Ease that one off. Oh, there you go. That's off. So here's the turnkey adjustment, and you'll see four of these holes. Let me show you here. One, two. Now there are four, and there's four legs. So I'm going to drop these legs to face the holes with the arrow. pointing at this valve key and if I look into here you can see these legs are matching in to the holes so there's one should be able to see them all let's see if we're lined up white there and that's all there is to that I'm going to fire this up once again with both modifications that's the quiet stove cap and this that I've made a bit of a mess out of this I'm going to redo that when I get back to camp uh, back to base camp that is let's try this just once more lighting it up let's Put some primer fuel on. This time I'm going to soak it up because it's its first run with the cap on. I'm just going to equalise some pressure in the tank. I'm going to clean this even more when I get home by the way. Oh, cramp in my leg, that's not good. Let's just light up stove rope up there, which in turn will heat this bell housing and pressurise this tank also. I'm going to just pop on this windscreen onto there. Flame 
to heat the bell housing is coming to an end. It should be enough to prime it. It's not a bad start. So that's primed really, really well. The secret will be to whether um, once I've cleaned the inside of it all, if it will stay soot free. So this little cap alone wasn't cheap. And let me see, it was about 40 odd quid, maybe 50, just for that. Okay, row of holes. Four legs, it sits in a certain way as opposed to the flame spreader. So was the stove cap, the quiet stove cap, worth it? Um, even with the extra postage or the customs, or as I like to call it, the ransom, because I said, unless I paid this 16 quid extra from America, they would send it back within 21 days. That's, that to me is a ransom. I've already paid me postage. So um, if you're in the UK, you'll have to watch out for that one. But even that said, I think um, it's a good investment because the actual stove itself is going to last decades. There's some of the original Surveyor 123s or 123s as they're called and um, they're still going. Uh, decades later, probably older than I am some of these stoves and uh, I know I'm not that old. Uh, I just look it. I think because it's Sunday I'm going to have to have a bath and I'm not having another one till Christmas. I'm going to call that a success. Um, if you have a surveyor, you're thinking of getting one, it's worth the modifications. Even the stove rope uh, idea, that was from Colorado Camper. If you want to see it done another way, a different way, you can watch his. I think he used some kind of wicking uh, fibre from a paraffin heater, something like that. That would do. Anything that's non-flammable, uh, but stove rope is about 80 pence a metre. And I bought 6 mil, a metre of 6 mil for about 80 pence. I bought 2 metres, so that's 160. Uh, and there's a lot you can do with stove rope. And I'm not going to waste this little bit of stove. I bought water. I have um, my drinking beaker with me. Something to cook on. I think I'm going to uh, have something to drink. Okay, it's time to have a look to see what I have in my pack that I carry my stove out in. I hope I've got something to eat or drink. I haven't got anything to eat. A hot chocolate. I'm pleased I've got sugar. I have sugar. I have two sugars. And I'm running low on sugar, so um, it's back to Mackie D's for me. 
to pinch more. It's amazingly quiet now that that stove. I'm really impressed with it. Um, now I've had this quiet stove cap for over for over about a month, maybe two months. It is noticeably quieter. It's worth it for me. Um, I know if you're miles away in in the woodland, you, you're going to say, "Well, no one's going to hear you." But if you're stealth camping, you're always on somebody else's ground. Um, and the last thing I need is the sound of a jet engine starting up every time I want to make a cup of tea. So um, I think it's been worth it. It's a shame that they held it to ransom. Um, I had to pay it. And that's the thing with things from America. This is coming to a boil. There you go. <clears throat> Boiled. Wait a minute. Wipe your eyes. And find my little key. Now, before you even consider touching the key to turn anything off, just take it off the flame first. I've seen too many people trying to turn this key on any kind of stove, knock the stove over and, uh, and scold themselves. So this is it running on its low setting which would be great just to pop that pan back on for a simmer. I cannot hear that at all. What a fantastic bit of kit. And a brilliant little uh, location to film it in as well. It's the same location that we filmed here when we did our last Surveyor episode. You'll probably recognise it. Um, it's not a first choice place to come for me because there's a hell of a lot of trees that have gone over here. It seems everything is rotted. Far too dangerous, but fantastic for a day out. Remove that. Turn that completely off. Key out. Let that cool down. I'm going to get a brew into there. Wow. And uh, I'm really happy with that stove. Well, I would recommend even buying that, you know. And you can do the modifications yourself. Just takes uh, some saving up. The stove itself is worth it. Uh, if it was, say, six months to twelve months ago, I bought that stove. It's that is my official review because I've used it constantly and. Uh, other than the homemade cat stove, that thing down there has been my go-to stove of choice. So, you've heard it here first, it's worth it. I think the stove cap is worth it as well. And uh, It's a lot of money. I had to save up um, since that last episode we did the surveyor. It was probably this time last year, summer, 12 months of putting a few quid away here and there.
Oh, that's bar bomb. Now you'll notice this is my high gear pot, and I don't have the uh, room in the pack to take a plastic cup. You notice on the back side of mine there, there's a bit of tape. And that tape is so I don't burn my mouth. And it's uh, a cracking little idea as well. So now I can drink from the pot that's hot. So it's been a real pleasure filming that one uh, because I've enjoyed the kit itself. I want to take this, this opportunity to thank all my subscribers um, for joining me and staying with me. I also like to take this opportunity to thank all my new subscribers as well. Now remember nothing on this channel is given to me for free by sponsors or anything like that. I don't make any money through this channel and neither would I accept it anyway. So everything is a fair and honest review and although it's only my opinion I'm not being paid to say these things so um, again thanks for joining me Through for you. See him? Little... Hey, he's a mole. He lives in a hole.